You know it's a serious box when you straddle it before you unbox it. <laughs> it's a bum! <laughs> I don't know why I didn't expect a proper bum. That's a proper bum! And here it is. <sighs> Beautiful. Now I haven't given you guys any context or explanation as to what I'm doing today. Basically, I got sick and tired of my VR armor just sitting on a shelf in there. Plus I have a couple of projects coming up that may involve creating worn things as part of, so if, that's all I'm gonna say. That's, it's, I'm teasing you. But the point is, I thought it was about time I got a mannequin that could wear said arty things. And then in the process of looking for a mannequin, I found one that, as you can tell, looks exactly like me. You see, because we've got the hair, he's got the hair, he's got the beautiful, normal proportion nose, nice sharp jaw, and the abs. Because we have a few things in common, I might make a bit of an art project of him and, and see if I could uh, paint him up to look exactly like yours truly. So today I'm going to attempt to paint this mannequin's head to look like me. Let's build him first and then we can practice. I have something I can practice with. So the question, oh, oh, yeah, ah, yeah. See that, got a leg, got a leg hole. I think that's in. He's barely touching it. This is an awkward perspective. <laughs> oh, I'm probably meant to like, I'm probably meant to put clothes on him. Oh God, go in the thing. There we go, there we go. All right, and then I think I'll put this in before I put the thing on. This is quite the bloody workout. Putting pants on. Why is there so much? Why is that, why are they so loose? Oh, he has to be taller, doesn't he? <laughs> this is what's really gonna make him look like me. This is, this is what we're missing. There we go, cool. Just, <laughs> just we're like brothers, except I'm just shorter and wider and sweatier. We're gonna bring you down a notch or two <laughs> to my level, but I'm not gonna jump straight into that because I do need to practice, but it's okay because I have a little something to practice with. <laughs> that scare you? Should have. Why I have this, uh, I'd prefer not to <laughs> answer, but I have it. I'm gonna be using it aggressively. I'm gonna practice on this lady, and after that practice, I'm gonna apply what we learn to him. Just... <laughs> I'm gonna stop grabbing his crotch. Now let's dive right into our practice here. I keep sweeping her hair back like, like she's my lover. <laughs> I've just, uh, I've snuck into my wife's cabinet and stolen some hair things. Let's give her some pigtails. I've sort of missed this whole back section here. It's probably not meant to be loose. What do you think? Do you, do you have like a tri, trifecta? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. I don't think anyone styles their hair like this, but they should. I think this was like a practice makeup doll that they used in like schools and, and stuff. So that's why she looks like she's, uh, you know, <laughs> she's on the penitent side of a party night. But we're gonna practice painting on this mannequin head and I'm not gonna take too long. I just wanna play around with my materials, but I wanna start off with priming it. And this is a plastic primer. I've never done this before, but I figured cause it's like a plastic material, same as the big mannequin that God, it really looms. Stop looming. It's creepy. I'm gonna use plastic primer and hopefully that will make the surface better to paint on. Not sure, but we'll give it a go. And I think it's just gonna come down to slowly mixing in colors and not getting too aggressive because we can't go back. So just putting in a little bit at a time till we slowly make our way to a color that works. I mean, already that just sort of looks like a, a layer of foundation. Turns out the great thing about pigtails is uh, it's good to hold the head and control the position with. I mean, we... now I would do two coats, but I'm just gonna leave it at one because this is our practice. I'm gonna do one more level of detail again by taking this darker color still, mixing in some of our darker colors. And then I have a final tone for the shadows and the, sh the very dark areas, but this is gonna be used pretty minimally because it's gonna be quite strong. So things like the nostrils, and then I'm just gonna wipe most of it off and then just dry brush areas like under the nose. <laughs> it's looking a bit zombie-ish. Now I'm gonna work my way backwards by gently sponging on 
some highlights and smoothing out where the dark areas are. I'm talking as if I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just telling you what I'm doing while I'm improvising and then experimenting. So now I'm gonna move on to some of the details. So to do this, I'm gonna take my darker skin shading color and just mix in a little bit of this quite strong red. It's like a crimsony red, a touch of pink. It's only meant to go like on the front of the lips, isn't it? You don't go like, underneath. <laughs> That's when people start looking like a clown. God, I don't know how you ladies do this. It's bloody difficult. Alright, that'll do for the lips. I think that looks alright. I think I did a pretty good job for someone with zero experience in this whole thing. This is the only way I can conceive of being able to paint on eyeliner. So when you guys paint on each other's eyeliner, I don't know how you do it without gripping their neck and holding them upside down like I'm doing now. So, remember our uh, post-party girl? Well, here she is, pre-party. We made the before, after the after. Anyways, this was a learning experience. This was to see if we can paint on a plastic mannequin head. You can. Got to prime it, paint it, varnish it, good to go. So, now to take the lessons we've learned and put them into practice. <laughs> Sorry. So, did I really? Yes. I'm so sorry. Now I am not going to paint the arms, I'm just going to paint the head down to sort of the upper body here. I'm going to try and take my time with it. The only thing I'm going to need is some sort of reference. I'm just going to take a selfie. What's his expression? I can't do that expression. It's too sexy. This is for, co for colour reference, but not proportion, because I can't change that. Otherwise he'd, his nose would be a bit bigger. Alright, I've printed my reference, now I need a See if it's about the same skin tone. Does that work? A cut. Close enough. All right, I'm gonna get stuck into this. I'm gonna paint his face and, and then I'm gonna show you. Take it away, time lapse. So ladies and gentlemen, just like that, I've finished my mannequin, or as I like to call him, the Jazzikin. Let me know what you think. I think it turned out pretty realistic and uh, I put a lot of effort to making him look as much like me as possible and I hope you like the result. Just kidding. He's over there. So here he is, my new best friend. My only friend. <laughs> I gotta say, it turned out way better than I was expecting. Not as far as him looking like me. He, I think there are, there are some resemblances, but obviously it's just like, you know, as close as I can get with a foundation that's far more handsome and tall and generally attractive. <laughs> but no, it's really interesting how like the skin with the paint isn't so reflective. I've done a whole bunch of varnish coats, but it, it's still like just, it looks pretty matte and quite nice. I don't know, I'm just really happy with how it turned out, the shading on the face. It's a bit rough, but at the same time, I think it sort of adds to a bit of a hand-touched aesthetic. I think it looks really cool. So, he is now ready for me to use, whether it be for wearing my VR armor, which you can see in the vlog I'll do at some point in the future, or if I have any other projects where he's gonna wear stuff, I'll know what it'll look like on me, on an alternate and more attractive, tall version of my myself.
Now the funny thing is, in like the 12 hours that I've had him finished and painted in my office, already like four times myself or PJ have walked in and been like, oh god, <laughs> it's, there's something so creepy about a mannequin! They're just creepy! I should, if I'm gonna buy a mannequin, put him to good use. Hello. Get your alter ego out of my place. It scares me. Oh my goodness. How'd you go when you walked oh, in? It's freaky. I can't even stand. Like because it scared me so much, I don't think he's ever gonna be friendly because he was like. He's too tall. Freaking hell, Joss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll come pick up my stuff. Yes, please do. He's freaky. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe to Draw Jazz for more fun with art and creativity, as weird as it may get sometimes. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.